welcome to Kenyatta Creates. So I'm Kenyatta. Welcome to my channel. Today is Whip Wednesday. How is everybody doing today? I am doing great. Been having a really good day. On today, I am working on a dishcloth. It is called a taco crochet dishcloth. It is by Heather from Strings and Threads. And this is a paid for pattern on Etsy. I will leave a link to it down in the description box if you want to try it yourself. Now, I have one little issue, and it's not the pattern's fault. It is mine. It's either two things. Either this cotton yarn is too thin because this is thinner than the uh, cotton yarn I usually use. This is a Lion Brand 24-7 cotton in the color... Um, Oh, lemon citron. And, or I just have a looser tension than she does because mine has a whole bunch of holes in it. <laughs> it's pretty, but mine just has a whole lot of holes in it. So this is the, uh, the first color. And then like in the picture, we're going to add the following colors. Oh, okay. I do got brown. They got brown, red, and green. And then you can, um, once it's done, you can use it to scrub. You can fold it in half to make it look like a taco to scrub. It's really cute. Um, like I said, mine must be, um, mine could either be two things, the tension or this cotton. Because I knew when I bought it that it was thinner than I was used to. And so... Got to do what I got to do because I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to use it. Um, this is the first time I've ever used 24-7 cotton. I usually use Lily Sugar and Cream or um, I love this cotton. I got this off Amazon because it was cheap. So, and I bought all these colors just to make this dish cloth <laughs> because um, I didn't, I hadn't been home. So, I just went on and bought the yarn. So, this is what I got so far. Um, in my Kenyatta Creates video, I will um, let you see the finished out product. It's going to be cute. Who doesn't love tacos? I mean, it's better. This video better would have been better yesterday, be Taco Tuesday, but it's my Wit Wednesday video. But yeah. And it's a, it's a nice size too. Covers my hand and it's not too big. Um, and it's layer it's like three more layers, so it's not gonna get too much bigger, I don't think. Um, so yeah, I will leave a link to this pattern down in the description box if you want to check it out for yourself. It's really fun to make. It's real easy to make because all you're doing is going in the round, and it looks like some texture on the lettuce part. So that could be fun after the going up and around to change it up. So yeah. And this took us the pattern cost for a six millimeter hook. I bought some new hooks off of uh um Amazon. This is one of them. It's my six millimeter hook. I didn't know how I would feel about it because this part is so much shorter than what I'm used to, and I am a hook hugger. I my hand goes all the way up. So, but I'm used to using um, metal hooks um, for my um, pumpkins that I'm making for things. Things we're making Thursday. I'm using a 4.25 metal hook for the whole thing. So, using a metal hook doesn't bother me. So, it's just like using a metal hook. Only this part is you know, giving it a little more grip. Well, not grip, giving it a little more to hold on to in my hand. But it's pretty decent. Um, I like it so far. Um, haven't given me any issues. So, but these are the hooks. I got a whole set of these. I'm going to leave these hooks here over my daughter's house so that I will have... Um, some hooks already here so I don't have to wait to go home if I need a certain size like this one I need a six millimeter and I already had them because I ordered them 
So that is that. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.